Now, in this part of the game, I think is the only time you see the cigarette smoking man. So I'm going to intentionally die at one point. How's everyone else's Sunday going? After this, I gotta watch a couple new movies on Peacock and Netflix. And at some point this week, I need to see Plane. Uh, cause I intend on doing a, um, whatchamacallit? A live episode. We're gonna take the shovel. Very important you take the shovel. to attack me at some point. My dad said he watched Violet Night and he really liked it. Are you alright? It's okay. I found what we're looking for. What is it? Look at this. It's a manifest. It details a number of shipments between that uh, dockside warehouse and uh, rural route 1121 in Fanta County, Washington. I guess I know where we're headed. This wasn't a wasted trip after all. You guys can hear that, right? Yeah. In. Okay, I'm gonna save because we all want to see the smoking man, right? And as you can tell, the guy who beat me up, he is infected with the black oil virus. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh my god. There's a bomb in here. We have to get out of here now. We gotta get out. You know what? She is a strong female lead. I'm sure she'll get us out of here. It would be sexist of me, the man, to save the day. So I'm gonna let this woman save the day. She's very stunning and brave. These characters are made up just for this game. Mulder and Scully are in the game. We're getting close to meeting them. 
I don't know. She's probably thinking of something right now. Something really smart to get us out of here. Any second now, she's going to get that window or door open. And I'm going to be like, turns out we don't need a man. Girl, get oh no! There he is. And unless there's some other option to see him, that's the only time I've ever seen him in the game. But there are like little secrets and stuff that I've missed. Oh my God, there's a bomb in here. We have to get out of here now. Oh no. She did not help. Run! Oh, it's times like this I wish I still smoked. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I find mm. things like this quite bracing. So I guess you're gonna want me to drive. That would be a nice gesture. I never survived the bomb before. Yeah, well, it happens to me all the time. Ooh. Who was that guy? He was incredibly strong. Yeah, I kind of got that impression. You think he works out? It was something weird about his eyes. Did you see that? No, I was too busy being knocked across the room to catch that little detail. Yeah. He seemed... There was something wrong with him. Almost like he was being controlled by something. This guy is just sad that he got beat up. In front of a girl. Was the bomb meant as a trap or was it protecting something in the office? Like what? Information in that log book. The rural route address, for instance. Well, anything in there would be pretty hard to read now, that's for sure. I think the bomb was meant to trap and kill somebody. Hmm. I guess we know why the gate was left open. I mean, it wasn't just small town cozy. Hello, Gabe. No. The gate was left open so somebody would get in there and set that bomb off. Yeah, but was it meant for us or that guy? That's a good question. So, who owns the hauling yard? Duh, Russian mobsters. <sighs> Are you ready to go? Duh. I sure am. You're driving, remember? Right. I'm doing fine. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Go home. Right it's a good looking guy. I guess I'm going to work.
I told you once, I've said it a thousand times. If I'm playing a video game, it's to make sure it's okay for children. Hey, buddy. Good news. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I cracked your case for you. What are you talking about? Evgeny Smolnikov. Uh, Gabe, I don't smugglers. know. I don't think so. And I think that'd be kind I of dumb. I have dumb. a witness who placed him at the dock the night of Wong's murder. I ordered surveillance. This is not siphon filter, filter nest, unfortunately. And since this morning, we've accumulated enough evidence to warrant a raid. We leave ASAP. The SWATs are joining us at the site. No need to thank me. What about Astadorian? You should call and tell her what you're doing. Done. Already left her a message. I'm the Martha Stewart of crime prevention. And if she gets her took us down here before we leave, she's welcome to play too. Hmm. Who's the witness? What witness? The identified Smolnikov? Oh, yeah. Fred Kohler. 56, indigent, was sleeping under a tuna net not 50 yards away from the murder. Heard and saw everything. I'd like to question him. Sure, whatever you want. After the raid, he's all yours. Now let's go. Why didn't you tell me about this? I was going to tell you, but the evidence just opened up this morning and now we're going in. And besides, you were pretty much out of pocket yesterday, if I recall. This guy is so shady. He's so clearly the bad guy. What are we watching? We are not watching. We are playing. Oh, shit. It's all the way over there. The X-Files FMV game. I'm not going to let you do this. Come on, man. What are you busting my chops for? That isn't like you. I'm just trying to do my job. Now, what are you getting all proprietary about? Clearly, that guy is undoubtedly smuggling plutonium into the Pacific Northwest. It's my FMV. guess. FMV. key to your missing FBI agents. Full motion video. So, suit up. Let's go. This is my investigation. Oh, contraire. This is our investigation. Hey, I'm just trying to catch the bad guys. I you have resistor serve. Thing you do, catching the I've bad been guys. playing it off stream, and I'm just stuck on you one have a boss warrant? fight. What do I look like, Mark Furman? <laughs> yes, I have a federal warrant from a federal judge. I run out of things to ask him. I should save. I should save after this little animatic. Er. Yeah, whatever word I was trying to say. Where's the backup? I called Seattle PD SWAT boys. They're on the way. Well, we should wait. I say we get this over with. Surveillance reported that Smolnikov entered the building alone. You were saying? After you. Okay. <laughs> it kind of looks so ridiculous. Wow, Mark Furman reference. When did this game come out? This came out 99, 98? Hold on, let me see. Ninety-nine. It came out ninety-nine. Sorta of the the tail end of the original X Files run. This is post movie. Uh it took a couple years to develop. I think here. When did they start? Yeah, the game's development cost $6 million and lasted four years. Uh, portions of the game were filmed between seasons of the X-Files and just before the feature film. Some footage in the game, such as the hotel rooms and excerpts of the Keystone Cops, is the same scene in the episode Sig Sizgy. Sizgy. Oh, that's the one with the big bug-looking thing. That one's good. Anderson and Duchovny were very busy, thus requiring the disappearance of Mulder and Scully and the introduction of the Wilmore character. Uh, yes. Uh, 
they have that. That was from Wikipedia. Nope, it was uh, Windows and PlayStation. If I can get a copy of it, I will. Well, I want to start playing more movie games because I have that movie game show. Which, by the way, the next one is uh, Alien Resurrection. Two. Two. Yeah. Oh, my God, that hurt. Uh, the next one's Alien Resurrection. Uh, but I want to start um, streaming me playing these games. And by the way, last night, uh, I have the Phantom Menace right here. You're reading my mind. Um, oh, favorite X-Files episodes, Jose Chung's from Outer Space. Uh, yes, uh, the stream from last night, part one of this uh, playthrough, I upload it to the Hack the Movies Clips channel. I'm going to start uploading uh, some game streams to the Clips channel. Not every single game stream. Like, if I decide I just want to play Mortal Kombat one night, I'm not going to upload that. But if it's, like, a movie-based game, and especially if it's a movie-based game I'm covering on the show, I'm going to want to um, upload the, uh, the streams there. Cover me. You got it. Okay. Got him. This is the only time it kind of turns into a shooter. Really. Oh no! Oh. oh, federal agent shot to death. Let's try again. Cover me. You got it. You gotta be like real precise with these. Oh shit, I didn't have, I didn't have my gun out. <laughs> I didn't have the gun out. Signal 7 subscribed with Prime. They've subscribed for 10 months. Thank you. Federal 
I'll Miranda him, you secure the place. I spotted a 38 downstairs, back left corner. Don't do that. I didn't mean to. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. They're just regular humans. I didn't know about the Men in Black game. It was me. Yeah. Where's the plutonium you were smuggling? What? I handle all sorts of things, but never that. You are talking crazy. You are talking crazy. You are talking crazy. Why did you kill Wong? Because he talked to us? What are you trying to hide? I didn't kill Wong. I knew him. He maybe did some work for me. The main mythology of X-Files is alien related, including this game. But there were also Monster of the Week episodes. Why did you kill the Terracons crew? I didn't kill nobody. They were my men. Why would I kill them? There was a fire. Right. A fire you set afterwards to hide what you've done. I may be a smuggler, so are lots of people, but I didn't kill anybody. Yeah. We have payroll logs from the Terracon that show that Wong worked for you. We found documents that match downstairs. So? That proves nothing. What did you keep in that warehouse? What do you mean? You're in my warehouse. You were right. It's a 38. Yeah. And I bet you it's the same gun that killed Wong and shot Scully. You better get a ballistics test run. Yeah. It isn't like up. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. It's a payroll manifest. It's a match of the one we found on the Terracon. It's in your best interest to cooperate, Mr. Smolnikov. That right. That there was a lightning Giovanni Rabisi. You're right. It's a 38. Oh, I already asked. You better that. get a ballistics test run. Okay. We gotta get that ballistics test run. Let's all go to the crime lab. 
Let's all go to the crime lab. Let's all go to the crime lab. Talk to our good friend. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. Wilmore. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you? You don't look so good. I don't feel so hot. What's wrong? I don't know. I think I'm coming down with the flu or something. What's up? I suppose you want me to fire that. You guessed it. Great. My headache just went away. I'm sorry. You really don't feel good, do you? Nope. Oof. Let's go. Yeah, that was a good one. Sure enough, they all three match. Great. Thanks, man. I hope you're feeling better. You said uh, the song in that episode with Giovanna Ribisi, uh, they play Hey Man, Nice Shot by Filter. Hey Man, Nice Shot was also in Cable Guy. And I believe, if I am right, Yes, that song uh, was written about the public suicide of Pennsylvania State Treasurer Bud Dwyer, who shot himself on television. Uh, yeah. Good old, good old Pennsylvania State Treasurer Bud Dwyer. Uh, I can't believe he did that on television. And he gives people a warning, too. He's like, hey, if this offends you, you're going to want to get out. All right. I think I'm done talking to him. You have mail. I have mail. Go on, mail. Right, let me go to my actual computer. I think I can go to the apartment. I I remember that Lone Gunman episode. And I remember when 9-11 happened. I'm like, holy shit, that, that TV show was about like the same thing. Well, You've not exactly mail. the same thing, but you know what I mean. That was a weird... I don't believe the conspiracies that were like, oh, Chris Carter predicted it. It's like, no, that was just a weird coincidence. All right. The fingerprints from the ship, I bet you... It's our, our sleazy partner. Huh. It's not. Weird. Could have swore it was him. Uh, I guess I'll do citizen. Ah, okay. It's so annoying how it makes you do this. Ah, ah, no, not the rugby email. Hold on, hold on. No, not the rugby email. Someone just let me know that uh, this game is too slow. I'm going to be like, police work. No, no, I don't want to say. The wheels of justice might move slow, but they're moving. <laughs> and that is a reference to another FMV game. That was, uh, what you call it? Christopher Walken in Ripper.
The Simpsons predicted Donald Trump running for president is stupid because Donald Trump actually did run for president multiple times. Ah, they don't want me to know who those fingerprints belong to. Could it be covered up, perhaps? Huh, I can't sleep. I guess I need to go back to the office, maybe? Oh, I gotta go back to the warehouse. Hold on. I think I gotta go back to the warehouse. Oh, don't mind me, I ran to my apartment. You're right, it's a 38. And I bet you it's the same gun that killed Wong and shot Scully. I thought I already answered that. You're right. It's a 38. And I bet you it's the same gun no. that killed Wong and shot Scully. Oh, okay. Where are the FBI agents? What are you talking about? We found the woman's blood in your warehouse. What warehouse? You're in my warehouse. Your gun shot her. We have a forensics match. I kill no FBI agents. He killed right. no FBI agents. Get him downtown and process him. Come on. We'll interrogate him some more once we get this sorted of out. Get the local police to secure the warehouse. Let's we go. just escaped a bomb together uh, in the mission prior. Ooh. It's Amos. Oh, hi, Amos. That boat you sent me onto was radioactive. <gasps> what? That boat? The Terracon? had dangerously high levels of radioactivity. He sent me into a hot area. That's what's wrong with me. I don't have the flu. I have radiation sickness. Oh man, John, I am so sorry. I don't know what to say. Just be more careful before you get somebody killed. I'm never getting that dollar now. I'm never gonna get that dollar from that guy. Also, why is he the only one who got radiation sickness? Seems weird. Ooh. That honestly might be the last time we ever see him. Oh, I guess now I can go to sleep at my apartment. Radioactive! Radioactive! Remember that song? God, you couldn't freaking escape that song. <laughs> He's got a, he's got a big painting of Honest Abe Lincoln. Who's knocking on my door? Who's not knocking thinking? on my chamber About door? About your little raid on the smugglers. <gasps> I had turned that case over to the task force, and you two cowboys go running off shooting my partner the was supposed so to tell her. Call. Do you have any idea how stupid I look? Cook called you. Cook called you. He did not. He did. He said he asked for SWAT backup, though they never did show up and we could have used the support. Look, don't lie to me. Do you need to get that? No, the machine will pick up. I guess I just had you all wrong. Oh, I'm hey, sorry, Astadorian. We meet right away. Your actions are endangering the lives of Mulder and Scully. They are alive, but they won't be for much longer unless you act quickly. This has nothing to do with Russian smugglers. Sandpoint, Hangar 4, Dawn. Come alone, or I won't show up. 
I don't know what kind of ridiculous Twilight Zone BS that you're involved with. Hey. But you know what? I don't care. I only came over here to tell you one thing. Smolnikov was just released for lack of evidence. That was Mr. X. Mr. X, the second uh, informant for Mulder, because Deep Throat was shot. Yeah, he doesn't seem to smile or look angry. Whenever he does smile, it's more of a smirk. First time sh chat, Sean the Owl. Yo. Okay. Let's go talk to him. Now, if you guys are not familiar. Oh, can I look out the blinds? Oh, I can look out the blinds. But it's daytime now, isn't it? Weird. Now, if you're not familiar with Mr. X in X-Files, you will be familiar with the actor if you're a fan of my channel. You're going to see him and you're going to go, it's that guy. Because I talked about him recently in a video. I haven't played this game in years. Holy cow. Well, I'm glad you're reliving it right now. Where the hell does this thing want me to go? Why isn't it letting me go anywhere? Am I like crazy? Like, I feel like I have to go into that room. Right? Hold on. Hold on. Did I go here too early? <sighs> go through the open doors in the middle of the hangar, it said. Oh, I could barely tell that that was a door. Agent Romo, I'm so glad to see that you took my advice and came along. 
Perhaps you're not as inept as I had thought. We have very little time, so I want you to listen to me carefully. It's great, you do. important thing. From Jason goes to hell. That I was here or that we spoke. No one in the bureau. Not Cook, not Shanks, nor that Seattle police detective you've been teamed up with. Do you understand me? I need your word on this, Agent Wilmore, or I won't help you. Uh, he doesn't fuck around, so you have my word. I have very little patience and even less time. Do I have your word? You have my word. Good. Listen very carefully to what I have to tell you. Lives are at stake here. Including your own. Mulder and Scully are still alive. So you said. But they won't be much longer if you don't do something about it. Scully and Mulder are not together. You need to find the Jane Doe that was checked into the Presbyterian Hospital in Gold Bar three days ago. She's about to be released. This has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with smuggled Soviet plutonium. I had a feeling that was the case. I've had a feeling that was the case. Listen to me. If you're going to help Scully and Mulder, you're going to need something more than a gun. That's the stiletto. Men have died in order to possess this. I'm going to loan it to you for a short time because without it, there's no way that you could survive. The man that Mulder and Scully were looking for and the man that you need to find if you're going to save them can only be killed by inserting this blade into the base of his neck. Are you with the Bureau? This man is not what he seems. <laughs> if the injury is not precise, he will kill you. Do not try firing a gun. Don't attempt to do anything except to use this. If anyone discovers that you have it, you're a dead man. Because their blood is radioactive. I'm not gonna save. Don't forget the Jane Doe at Golba. Jane Doe at Gold Bar. We gotta go to Jane Doe at Gold Bar. Oh shit, I don't know where Gold Bar is. Let me go ask him that question. Hey, do you know- <gasps> Mr. X killed me. Now they're even showing my grave. <laughs> Enjoying the Sunday show. Again, I said in the last stream, 2023 is all about consistency. I'm going to be consistent with the Patreon, consistent with Twitch. He killed me because he thought I was following him. Don't forget the Jane Doe at Golba. <gasps> Whoa! Take it easy, it's me. I can see that. You get grumpy when your ass is run ragged, don't you? My ass was run what are ragged. You doing here? Are you kidding? After that phone message, I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Yeah, well, you better be careful, or you may run your ass ragged. I don't I like. Didn't mind that? It was kind of cute. Oh Jesus! She, she wants her ass run ragged. Precious springs to mind. So. We kind of have a lot to talk about, don't we? Yeah, about her asses yeah, being run ragged. But first, Jane Doe and Gold Bar. Her asses are just being run so ragged. <laughs> I like that. That's when you, uh, when 
you'd like do something weird and the game makes the character call you out on being weird. That's the that's the image they used of Mitch Pelegi Skinner just being like, what are you doing? What are you doing? His ass looks like it's run ragged. Uh, oh, crap. Because I have the disc all the way over there. Oh, I'm going to do another Hello. live edit stream on May Patreon. May I ask your business here? After I shoot the Alien Resurrection episode. We're looking for a Jane Doe. May I see some identification? Uh, of course. How did you know we were cops? Who else would come looking for a Jane Doe? That's a good point. What's your business with her? We need to make sure she's all right. Of course. What is her name? That was shot here. Real quick. We're going to save. Because my memory of this area is a little fuzzy and I know you can mess up a bunch of times. You think it might be Dana Scully, but we don't know. They just keep calling her Jane Doe. We don't know. Thank you. There are some forms to fill out. My office is right down the hall here. <gasps> I, guess I really I, can't we, believe I'm having to do this. Yes, we do just After five it. years at the Bureau, you should know better. I need your badge and gun. So we're just going to say Dana Scully. Dana Scully. Yes. Uh, do you recall the name of her immediate superior? I need to phone him and I've misplaced his information. Well, Walter Skinner. Walter Skinner. This is her room behind me. She didn't believe that we were on the level. Has anyone else come to see her? Oh, no. Thank God you're the first. How did she get here? She was brought in. By whom? This is what used to be called a sanitarium, Detective. We're not bound by the same strictures as oh, a conventional you, hospital, nor would we follow them. We pride ourselves on discretion for the patients, the better they can heal. How was her wound? It's begun healing. It was mostly superficial. As to her other condition, I have no idea how to account for it. Is she ready to leave yet? Oh, I wouldn't think so. Moving wouldn't be life-threatening, but she might not find it very pleasant. What other condition? I haven't been able to diagnose it yet, so I've been treating the symptoms. Lethargy, nausea, extreme listlessness, dehydration, memory loss. There Are you she is. Scully? Who are you? Assistant Director Skinner asked us to look for you. I didn't know I was this lost. This is prime Scully, Who by the way. Who are you? This is like when Scully looked her best. Agent Wilmore. How do I know I can trust you? Who told you I was here? I got it off Amazon a while ago. A black man. What black man? Eh. We don't know his name. That's ridiculous. You better explain yourself or I'm calling for help. Who sent you here? No, no! No! Don't I, the, the stiletto! I really can't believe I'm having to do this. After five years at the Bureau, you should know better. I, I need selected your badge the stiletto.
Dana Scully. Yes. Uh, do you recall the name of her immediate superior? I need to phone him and I've misplaced his information. Walter Skinner. This is her room behind me. How was her wound? It's begun healing. It was mostly superficial. As to her other condition, I have no idea how to account for it. Yeah, I don't think we need to go through all that again. Are you Dana Scully? Who are you? Assistant Director Skinner asked us to look for you. I didn't know I was lost. Who are you? Agent Wilmore. How do I know I can trust you? Who told you I was here? I just like when she goes, what black man? A black man. What black man? We don't know his name. That's ridiculous. You better... It was the man who gave me this. Boom. All you right. gotta do that quick or she'll hit that button. He told me I couldn't tell anyone about it. Let's talk. How do you feel? Very weak, but actually I feel a lot better than I did when I first came in here. Do you have any idea where Mulder is? I have no idea, but we need to find him. Could you have radiation poisoning? God, I hope not. But I suppose the symptoms do line up. What happened in the warehouse? Well, there's not Mulder a and I observed option. some suspicious traffic in and out of the warehouse. We went in to investigate. We were attacked by a number of armed men. I was shot. This there is the was PlayStation an odd 1 light. game. But I do own Mulder carried me out of the warehouse. I blacked out and I woke up here. Where does the Terracon fit into all this? Well, one way or another, they were involved in smuggling. I think that's a given. I think that there was an accident at sea involving plutonium, and Mulder thinks that they were somehow killed by an EBE. EBE? Extraterrestrial biological entity. Aliens? What did your autopsy on the crewman reveal? The crew had all been exposed to levels of radiation consistent with a large-scale nuclear blast. Now, clearly, that didn't happen, but Mulder took that as proof that a UFO had landed in the area. No, the PS2 game is a Resident the Evil. Had irradiated the uh, kind of. I take it you don't subscribe thing. to that theory. There is always an alternate explanation. What is this used for? You shouldn't show that quite so openly. I don't know what it's used for. Perhaps Mulder can tell you. I'm afraid that's all I have to offer. What can you two tell me? Well, there have been other burn victims. I hope that doesn't mean that plutonium is being transported. I don't think there's a federal There's an unidentified spectrum. man involved. We encountered him at the burn site and then later again at the hauling yard. We found a connection between the warehouse and the hauling yard. It's a trucking outfit in Charna, Gordon's Hauling. They've made numerous deliveries between the warehouse and a rural route that we well, have a chance Peach to investigate. How is saliva? I haven't seen her in years. Seems to and me that we need to find the identity either. of the man from the hauling yard. We were like that close you two need or like to pay friends, a to the but we would see each other at events once in a while. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get in touch with Assistant Director Skinner, and then I'm going to check out of here. I can meet up with you two later at your field office, but I think that we have to hurry. Agent Mulder may be running out of time. Oh, yeah, that's the one with, like, the fungus, right? Hostage, that was a good one. They have little incentive to keep him alive. We gotta go to Rural Route eleven twenty one. 
Well, that was the thing. She got pregnant in season two of the X Files. The actual actress did. And you might know Camille Nanjiani as a crybaby loser uh, actor who clearly takes steroids and then says traditional ma is masculinity is bad. Rear quarter panel uh, but he used to be a funny loser Something comedian. And he had an X Files podcast. Looks like and I remember, I think one of the writers or someone was on the podcast and they talk about the one episode where they're like, they're like, Scully's boobs are gigantic. She just had. A kid, so like continuity wise, her huge her pubes just get like really, really huge for a few episodes. Yeah, Camille Nagiani had a podcast called The X Files Files. And don't get me wrong, there was a lot of like I mean, he was definitely a little bit of a crybaby back then too, but as he got more famous it became an even bigger crybaby. And he got to be in an X Files episode. When they brought the revival back, and it was one of the best episodes in years. And then the he, he begged to be on the show and everything. They did it for him. And then the next episode had, like, I think... I think it had, like, a Muslim terrorist subplot to it. Uh, and he complained about it. And then he stopped doing his X-Files podcast. <laughs> But yeah, go back and check out the X Files Files podcast if you can still find it. If it's still around, I don't know if he took it down. But you know, he was real tight with uh, people like Max Landis, and I'm sure Camille Giangiani likes being reminded that he was friends with Max Landis and had him on the show. Whose theory do you believe, Mulder's or Scully's? Scully's obviously a by the book agent. I think it's great to hear of a detective who's a creative. I just thinker. think it was funny. I don't Looking know what happened. He Mulder. did like one movie, got really, really big, and then he just stopped being like he. I. What could they use this place for? He was really funny, and then I see him in a bunch of stuff recently. I'm like, oh my god, he the sucks. Plutonium traveling all. Oh, me and him fought on Twitter years ago. Because he was pretending was Rose Tico was record. a good character, probably because yeah. he's just friends with the actress. The yard is deserted. So he lied and pretend that Rose Tico was a really great character in Last Jedi. And I think I told the story on the show where I responded to him and I said, what, what the hell movie did you watch? And he was like, uh, The Last Jedi, what bad. did you watch? And I think he thought I was going to be like one of those like right wing racist dudes. So I responded with, I watched a movie where they gave all the good storyline and character developments to the white characters and sidelined the people of color, and he didn't, he didn't know how to respond to that. Because <laughs> he, he was he thought he was going to be fighting with a racist, and he, he like, totally was not prepared for that uh, response. Well, obviously, this fire is recent. What movie was he in with Batista? This looks like an operating room of some kind. But yes, his, pod, his x file podcast was really good. And they had some good guests on that show, too. He eventually had, while they were filming season 10, he actually recorded with uh, David Duchovny and Jillian Anderson. And that's actually a good episode, because I remember Jillian Anderson saying, like, one of the posters and stuff for, like, one of the X-Files seasons had a... Um, uh, what you would call it, a link to the internet, and she's like, oh, that probably won't last. Like, she thought the internet was like a fad that was just gonna pass. I didn't see hey. Stuber. Hey. I didn't do nothing. Nobody said that you did. We just want to talk to you. Oh, this guy looks fun. Is this your home? Home is where the heart is, near or far away. That was informative. Hmm. See anything strange around here? Uh, just the two of you. And the birds, of course. He's a nut. What's this place used for? Well, Don, the Boy Scouts conduct covert operations out now here. Now sounds good. 
You seen any men in suits or uniforms running around? Oh, yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah, ask Jane. I'm besieged by sniveling toadies trying to cheat me out of my sugar fortune. What? There's been a fire in a boxcar back there. You know anything about that? Sure, Don. I saw the guys who said it. What did they look like? Bloodless yuppies in cheap suits. Two of them. They backed that car up here yesterday and set fire to it in my own backyard. Can you believe that? Uh, I have some stuff, Don. Got it out of that burnt car. You may want it. What kind of stuff? What, from the boxcar? Yeah, the boxcar. You tell me, yeah, Don. Box car. What kind of stuff do I have? Photographs. Photos? I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. You're in the neighborhood. Moving pictures. Yes and no. Videotape? Yes, sir. We have a winner. Videotape it is. Congratulations. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Mm. Uh, ten bucks. Ten bucks. <sighs> Wilmore doesn't have ten bucks. He never got that dollar. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. All right. This part's very important. I have to save. The game will get broken at this point. If you don't do something a certain way, it gets broken and you can't undo it. It's it's infuriating. Put it in. Okay, we're gonna save. We're gonna save. Because if you pick the wrong option, you, like, can't go back. Or at least it wouldn't let me go back. And it drove me nuts. Uh, I never played The Last of Us game, Mark Cook, so Mary probably not. Dorian, Mary S. Dorian, Mark Cook. Nice to meet you. Don't put your leg up. That's a nice mask. Okay, somebody's obviously cutting on something. What do these clandestine medical experiments have to do with Russian smugglers? And if this guy's a surgeon, what was he looking for at Gordon's Hauling? And what was that experiment being performed? I don't know. Whatever it was, the patient didn't look human. Is there any way to ID the good doctor there? Yeah, all you gotta do is take a frame of the video and match it against the databases. It can definitely be done. Okay, so let's do it. And go to government military. If you don't do this, it won't let you go back to this option. I think government military, right? Yes. Because I picked something else before and it wouldn't let me, like, re-scan his image. It was so infuriating. Bingo. Okay, what do we have here? Dr. Jonathan Rausch. That's him, all right. Wow. The military, huh? I haven't seen Domino since What's it that? came out. Someone's trying to establish a video conferencing link. Oh, what the hell. Never really tried to use this thing before. Video chat. 90s video chat. Agent Wilmore? Yes. Ah, we're in the right place. It's the lone gunman. Who are you? Friends of Agent Scully. Some of us are more than just friends. She asked us to contact you. How did you get this address? 
Well, we assumed you had the standard issue bureau box on your desktop. And all those are equipped for full duplex video conferencing, though nobody ever uses it. So we just looked you up in the Peekaboo white pages, which list the DNS entry and IP address of every Peekaboo equipped machine in the country. Pretty straightforward, really. Hmm? You want Jana Reno's number? Uh, no, I'll, I'll pass, thanks. Are you sure? She keeps the computer in the bedroom. Rest in peace, Janet Reno. To, I think she was kind of responsible for that whole Waco mess. What do you want? Agent Scully contacted us with information about the case you're working on. Now, based on what Dana told us, we believe that there's a top secret facility in Alaska involved. Okay, what's the big deal about Alaska? Well, this facility is used as a nexus point for most of the government's West Coast boxcar work. If this is true, Mulder's in incredible danger. This facility was built in the early 60s. We think they chose Alaska so they can use the Aurora Borealis to hide UFO traffic into and out of the base. We also think an alien craft recovered in the Pacific hmm. is stored there. What's boxcar work? Ah, one of the great unspoken peace dividends. The government has a massive network of rail cars, which they can use as mobile surgical theaters, autopsy rooms, and quarantine facilities. These boxcars have a twofold purpose. They allow the government to quickly pick up and transport we stray EBEs, and they serve as a mobile base of operations for a series of genetic experiments. What kind of genetic experiments? The cross-pollinization of the human race, intermingling human DNA with genetic material from EBEs. Great, I don't believe this. Suddenly I'm Barbara Bain to you and Martin Landau. That's funny. Martin Landau ended up being in the X-Files movie. Where is Mulder? We're not sure. But knowing Mulder, if there's a trail leading to this facility, he's following it. Scully mentioned an unidentified man who was of some concern. Did you manage to determine his identity? Yeah, Dr. Jonathan Rausch, a Navy surgeon. You now, where's he stationed? Eisenhower Field, Alaska. Oh, yeah, that's the guy. He served a stint in Perky, West Virginia? Yes. But this is bad. Listen, you have to get there. Mulder may not have much time left. First go to Rauch's house and then on to the secret base. Okay, how do I get to the base? Well, Scully said you had a PDA? Yeah. Great, I'll email you the GPS coordinates of the base. This fax. Brent Spiner? In the X-Files movie? No. The Canadian was border guard was found there. dead this morning from massive unexplained burns and Mulder's rental car was observed crossing the Canadian border into Alaska. I don't believe this. Well, that's it then. Uh, no doubt about it. You're going to have to get there ASAP. I just uploaded the GPS data. Okay, if you want to keep Mulder alive, we've got to get moving. You get to Roush's. You're probably going to want to take a charter flight. The airline's going to be too busy. I'll keep everything nailed down here. Contact the Juno field office, get you some backup. Think you can scare up a charter flight for this man? Sure, I can do that. Okay, let's go. All right, we're going to Alaska. You want a window or an aisle seat? I'm Maybe thinking of I going to Alaska so. this year. Too. Yeah, Alaska my cousin lives up there. Outside my jurisdiction. Besides, I have real detective work to do. You be safe. I will. What are some movies that take place in Alaska? You have mail. I know there is a movie called Alaska. But what are some movie, other movies that take place in Alaska? Maybe I can remove, uh, maybe I can review an Alaskan movie in Alaska. You've got mail. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein does not take place in Alaska. Okay, that thing I found earlier was a bomb. They give you all this information and then you don't even use it. I thought this was going to like play off into like a puzzle or something I got. Nothing.
Yes, uh, before Talk About Games ended, the show with Ryan and Mike, I was on there talking about the new Evil Dead game. You have mail. So, I guess look at, uh, Talk About Games Evil Dead. Okay. It was, like, hidden. There we go. Let's save. And we're going to Alaska, baby. No, 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 no. Hold the dark. I saw that they were making a Killer Clowns game. I'm interested in that. Hey, wake up. Where's Mulder? Hey, 100 bits. Hey, Tony and Chad. Hope you're all having a good Sunday. I'm having a great Sunday. I'm streaming to about 50 people. Playing the X Files FMV game. There he is. Jeez, man, do I know you? Cable guy. You all right? No. What's the matter? My foot's gone to sleep. <laughs> Look, it's my good man, Tony. I love you, bro. Hey. Agent Wilmore, FBI. Funny, I took you for a spook. I've been looking for you. Well, you found me. I've spoken with Scully. How is she? She's better. She's out of the hospital. No, it's a sanitarium. I dropped her off there after she was shot in the warehouse. I called the Seattle office for more backup, but all they sent me was more cleaners from the NSA. Who'd you speak to? I didn't have time to ask. We barely got away. I, I, I didn't want to notify anybody of Scully's whereabouts because I didn't know who I could trust. How did you get here? I was in a rail yard when Roush kidnapped me and stole my car. I always wanted to see the Pacific Northwest. Unfortunately, there's not much view from the trunk. <laughs> Roush is downstairs. You're kidding. He didn't flame you? I beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. What condition is he in? Uh, unconscious and covered in 48 motor oil. Oh, Roush. Yeah, he always did have a kinky streak. Hmm. You watched the Argento um, opera review? What did you think of opera? Well, let me guess. Was this uh, rail yard on rural Route 1121? You got it. They use it as a staging area. Yeah, so I've been told. Frohickey sends his love. Well, you're quite the social butterfly. Frohickey, Roush, Scully. Do you know Skinner? Yeah, he set me on the case. I should have known. Why did Roush kidnap you? Roush is a Navy surgeon who's involved in alien experimentation. The alien that controlled him or controls him crashed into the sea two months ago. You did say the alien that controlled him. Well, there's a species of alien that can use humans as host. 
the, the parasite completely takes over the target human, even gaining access to knowledge that the human possesses. The only way you can tell the difference is there's a thin film of black oil that swims over the victim's eyes. The crew of the Tarakan came across one of these Valdez-type aliens who promptly nuked them. The government apprehended it and put it in one of their boxcars, but somebody screwed up and it escaped. Yeah, Roush had that uh, same black film on his eyes. Yeah, you're lucky he didn't try to kill you. I'm pretty sure the alien's trying to get back to its ship. That's why it used Roush to get here, but I have no idea where that ship might be. As I was coming up, I saw a man in black fatigues leaving the house. We've got to catch up with him. He's the new host. Well, we have to figure out where they're headed. I can't headed. wait for the child's play review. I, know. I was I given the location of a secret government facility by three men via video by conference. A child's play marathon. Yeah, that sounds like a reliable source. Nice. Yes. Agent Wilmore, it's Dana Scully. Where are you? Uh, Juneau, Alaska. Have you found Mulder? Yeah, he's right here. Thank God. Can I talk to him? It's Scully. Scully, where are you? <laughs> that ADR you was know. weird. Well, it's who's Scully. your travel agent? Byers, Frohickey, and Langley. God love him. Do you have your cell phone with you? Yes. All right, I'll call you back. All right, then, let's get going. Great, it looks like we got some uninvited guests. NSA? Or Jehovah's Witnesses. I need you to keep them busy for me long enough to meet Scully back at that facility, then you get away and meet us there. Uh, hold on. I was assigned to find you and Scully. I've done that. I'm out of here. What kind of attitude is that? The game's I not over yet. I didn't see that episode! You wanna wait around for the payoff? Now. I don't know if I was supposed to kill those guys. Because before when I played this, I just ran away. Oh, well. <laughs> so you can either shoot them or run away. This eliminates a lot of time. Because if you don't shoot them, you uh, you run through the woods. These burns match the others. And you have to hide under a tree. Mulder's gone on ahead. I don't, I don't think we have much time. Explains the cattle mutilation. Oh no! That thing we all knew was gonna happen happened. Agent Wilmore, fancy meeting you here. So it's you? Yes, it's me. I guess you're curious about what the hell's going on here. Well, yeah, the thought had crossed my mind. Oh? It was my job to divert attention away from the actual events. Plutonium smuggling, Russians. Wong. All made up. Actually, I made everything up. Why? Why? Money. Lots of it. It had nothing to do with any deeply held beliefs. 
It feels so good talking to you, but unfortunately... You can also shoot him if you want. I was just here. I died. Uh, I think it's whatever upscaler I'm using. Uh, I guess it just doesn't like this. We're not gonna. Go. No. Damn it. Yeah, I think it's just the the upscaler is screwing it up. I've heard of that Total Recall show, but I've never watched it. your help skill I need two of these keys to get past the blast door and into the storage chamber I need for you to help me uh oh it's going run run I shot Scully. Oh, 
Oh, really? It doesn't do... Sometimes it'll be like, try again, and other times it makes you load. I'm doing a quick bathroom break. Bathroom break. The Child's Play remake, we talk a little bit about it in the episode. It was fine. It just shouldn't have been Child's Play, and it shouldn't have been Chucky. And I see, I understand why they think like, oh, well, we have to... Make it Chucky and whatnot, but Megan proved that you could also have success without having to rely on an intellectual property. We're just going to shoot him. Damn it! He shot me. I didn't shoot him fast enough. They have to identify me by my bones? Yeah. It's him. Thank you. That's a bummer. I did it so well the first time. I did it so well the first time. This does not have light game support. Light gun yeah. support. It's him. Thank you. There we go. I think the idea is that maybe that cutscene was meant for a moment in the game if I got fried by the radiation, but instead they used it for that, for me getting shot. These burns match the others. Mulder's gone on ahead. I don't, I don't think we have much time. Let me save. Save. We already heard this guy's bad guy speech. That explains the cattle mutilation. Agent Wilmore. Need your help, Scully. I need two of these keys to get past the blast door and into the storage chamber. I need for you to help me. We did cue the winged serpent together. Run. Shit! Oh, damn it! 
damn it! I need your help, Scully. I need two of these keys to get past the blast door and into the storage chamber. I need for you to help me. Run. Any sign of Mulder? No. I haven't seen him either. What was he talking about? Why is he looking for a key? And what kind of key? He said something about a storage chamber. Now I have to figure out why he's behaving this way and somehow get him out of here. I think he's looking for what's being stored in this facility. Oh, really? Uh-huh. And what would that be? An alien craft that landed in the waters of the Pacific. Uh-huh. Somehow I knew that was coming. Look, you don't know very much about Agent Mulder, so let me explain a few things to you. He can sometimes indulge in... <laughs> Did she just run away? Did she just abandon me? What's wrong with Mulder? I think he's in some kind of a narco-somnambulistic state. Maybe if we can <laughs> lure him into the isolation chamber, I, I can contain him until I can figure out how to treat him. Okay. How are we gonna do that? Well, first of all, we need to locate the other key that Mulder was looking for. Now, whatever is in that room is protected by some kind of a blast door. It looks to me like, like the, uh, the door is, is operated by two key panels. Both keys need to be turned simultaneously, like launching a nuclear missile. Why is he now, there's a key guard in the corner of the room. Maybe if, if I distract him, you can come up behind him and knock him out. Then we can use the key to get Mulder into the chamber. But first, we have to get the isolation chamber powered up. Now, the, the door to the security area locked itself behind me, so we have to get that opened up first. Save. Yes, the PlayStation version is four discs.
Okay. Save. Very important we save. No. Well, let's hope this works. Any particular direction you'd like to claim? Let's go here. Oh, wait, you know what? I forgot to ask her a question. I knew that was gonna happen. I thought it'd be funny. Well, that's oh. Sir, I'm Agent Dana Scully with the FBI. Do not come any further. This facility has been overrun by terrorists. I need your assistance. I can't leave my home. Sir, I don't I'm know. He's FBI just doing his job. Now, three your seconds assistance. before I shoot. I One. need your help, sir. He's just doing his job. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. This comes from the very top. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, she got shot in the shoulder without a doctor around in a base where everyone's dead in Alaska where there's like not another thing around for miles. She's dead. Well, let's hope this works. Sir, I'm Agent Dana Scully with the FBI. Do not come any further. This facility Gabe, if there's no one there to treat the wound, you're dead. Uh oh, we gotta run from Mulder. left his body it went into my partner turn the key Agent Wilmore, I know you're upset by what's transpired, but we're all affected when one of our own goes bad. I never saw it coming. Mark was my friend. I should have been more attentive, perhaps, but none of us are at fault. I think Except Agent Cook himself. A lot of the X-Files is on Hulu. Come in, please. I just wanted to say goodbye. I spoke to Detective Astrodorian. Apparently, they searched Cook's apartment and found my laptop, fortunately. But uh, it seems as though Cook staged the break-in here in order to 
make it look as if he'd been attacked. Well, it seems that Agents Mulder and Scully have been uh, talking to Assistant Director Skinner. Yeah, looks like yes, Hulu has all of has the received quite a bit of attention uh, from the Bureau. X Files. You have quite a fan in Assistant Director Skinner. Although I must admit, some of what I've heard sounds a bit fantastic, to put it mildly. Well, yes, sir. I agree. I'd have to plead the fifth on that. Anyway, I've got a plane to catch, but Agent Mulder wanted me to tell you that his foot has woken up. That's a relief. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. You're looking a little ragged around the edges. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? I'll see you here tomorrow, first thing in the morning. And oh, I expect your report on this matter to show up when you do. Yes, sir. Oh, Detective Astadorian also mentioned she had some paperwork for you to sign. She said she'd drop it by your place, although I told her she could send it here. She seemed uh, adamant about handing it off to you directly. Yes, sir. First person shooter. That's a good one. I think, um. Agent Wilmore. I think William Gibson. I guess I know what one. you want. Hold on a second, I'll go get it. I think not. I have the old DVD you sets better back keep it. there. Oh my You're god. gonna need it again. Soon. And I just got Millennium. All Millennium. Not digging these funky groovy beats. I'm pretty sure that's it. Not one person I know is streaming. someone that we can raid. Chill stream, squats question mark, mommy milkers 420, I streamer socials Instagram. Hi, I'm Bambi. Come chat and chill. Guys, we're going to raid Bambi and ask her if she knows super famous and important Tony from Hack the Movies. That's what I want. That's what I want to happen. Let's, let's raid Bambi. If I'm allowed to. Let's see if she allows raids. Oh, she allows raids. <laughs> oh. 
So yes, say uh, just say Tony from Hack the Movies is very famous and important. That's that's all I want you to say. All right, here we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will upload this video to the Clips channel if you, in case you missed a part of it. Okay? All right. Goodbye.